Hey guys, Fezzy the Frog here with a brand new Hytale news video. Here today to speculate about what we believe will consist of the progression through the game and its difficulty ramp up. Enough with the introductions, let's get started. Difficulty. It's one of the core mechanics of all games, introducing players to new challenges and affecting at the same time the piece of the overall experience. With last week's blog release about world generation, we now have a further vision of how Hytale will be played. As we see it, Hytale could have two different methods of difficulty progression. The first one is zone based. This method already has been discussed throughout the community a little bit. Each zone has a certain difficulty level, and the further you advance, the higher that difficulty level gets. So for example, zone 4 with this system would be a pretty late game area to mess around in. Despite all of this, we disagree with this method, which brings us to our second method, far more hidden than the first one. This second method, or distance based, respects one basic law the world has, which absolutely breaks the zone based method. This law is no other than infinite worlds. You see, let's suppose that the difficulty ramps up by zones. Worlds are infinite. You beat zone 6, which has not been announced yet. Now what? You still have a lot to cover, an infinite more to cover technically. What happens if you go back to a different zone, like 1 or 2? It, would it really be fun to absolutely destroy enemies and dungeons in that zone? Difficulty makes us enjoy what we're doing. Without that, this infinite world we have been promised would be useless. That was one of the reasons we believe a distance-based difficulty ramp up from the spawn to the edges of our imagination would be more sensible. Quests would introduce variation, mixing different zones so you would need to change the environment constantly, bringing a rich and varied experience to even the most low levels. And what's better, now the infinite world has meaning, full of dungeons and powerful loot. By just walking around, you could choose a more peaceful experience or go hard on the most confined spaces of the world. And with the knowledge that Hytale's world gen system will support infinite worlds, the infinite land theory would seem to make a lot more sense than the zone based theory. Just a reminder, this is all speculation, and none of this may show up in the final game. Feel free to comment about your thoughts and opinions and even your own difficulty progression theories. Also, let me take this as a minute to shout out our very special project that we've been working on behind the scenes, HighForge, which is a Hytale community website centered around our up and coming factions slash kingdoms type server. Feel free to hop on and sign up on the website now. It's a great place to talk about all things Hytale and more. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have enjoyed. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and turn on our notification bells so you never miss a future upload. Anyway, once again guys, thank you for watching, and this is Fezzy the Frog, signing off.